Hello, lovelies. Um, Rusty was here the other day, and she was kind enough to help me organize my craft room a little bit. So I thought I'd show you. It's not done yet. It's still a mess, but um, these are all in that corner there. I have a whole bunch of those yarns, packs of three, goes down to the bottom there. And those are going to be uh, probably a lot in the happy mails and the giveaways and all that kind of stuff, the mystery mailings that Rusty has, but I have a lot of those. Those are um, Caron Cupcakes. And if I make you dizzy, just close your eyes and listen to my soothing voice. Anyway, it's still a mess, but I thought I'd give you a, a show of what we have going on here. This is the bottom area. And there's some rewind. Some baby yarn. This is a total little, oh, that's the filthy closet. And things fell down. The cat was probably in here. I don't like the cats in here. This is a closet. It's literally two layers thick of stuff. There's lots of wool. See, I do other crafts besides the, the crocheting. So that's all like wool and stuff back there. These are literally empty boxes. In case I need them. Some pocketbooks that I embellished. Um, material. Uh, leather. Pair of slippers. And totes of other things. I don't even remember what's in there, but Rusty does. And anyway, so this is, there's my little guy from North Carolina. Uh, these are the colors. I'm totally making you dizzy, but I'm running low on the variegating, I guess you call that yarn. Top of that, the Chewy's empty. Yay, it's an empty box in here. And a tote of ties and my Marine Corps bandana. I've got to put somewhere that's my dad's. Um, and then this would be the view. Oh, the ugliest sweater ever made. But it really isn't the ugliest sweater. I was really disappointed. It's not that bad. Then hanging, she decided this on the windowsill, um, are some projects that are not in, they're not necessarily whips, the first two. that This one here, oh, that one there is uh, that wig that I've been working on. I haven't gotten back to it, but that's the view. Oh, hey, hey, check this out. Hold on one hot sec. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on, focus. There we go. Literally, these are my little friends. Oh, how cute. Coming to visit. It's way closer than it appears on here. Oh, hold on. Let's see if I can get the other one. And there's the other one. I don't know if they're siblings or it's a mom and a babe, but they're here every day. They hang out most of the time. And um, I got to get a salt lick from me back up again. Hold on. I apologize. <laughs> I'm playing with this here. So anyway, that's my view. And Rusty lives down there. That's where I walk. So on this side, on the top shelf is pretty much of uh, finished stuff and except for one of that totes there but that's all finished stuff then there's all yarns and then behind here there's more yarns and my totes a lot of caron cakes and these are this is behind the flag the flag says human um behind that's three totes that also, are you going to stay there or move closer to the closet or whatever? And then just different yarns that I've been buying. And I have actually, uh, this is nothing compared to what it looked like a little while ago. I By doing those sweaters, I've been bang, getting rid of a lot of it, banging out those sweaters and really tackled into my my yarn. And there's stuff on the bottom shelf too. This section here is oh, a lot of those are I kind of put some stuff aside for giveaways and stuff and then my rainbow section oh <laughs> oh I forgot to put this here anyway that yeah uh I'm not going to explain what that is I'm just going to say that's going into a anonymous mystery mailing to someone and they will get the joke with the funky earrings and the Vaseline and just a few other little things in there. So it'll be a it'll be funny. Um then over here we've got 
this is really looking messy, but there's actually the box that says fur, that has fur. That's a quilt that I've been supposed to be making for a long time. And then the, a lot of this is for wet felting, finished pocketbooks, more wool. There's more wool there. I've got a lot of big, huge bags of wool. I buy it from Canada from a distributor. And so I buy it in, you know, big, big uh, amounts. And then this is all polymer clay, which Rusty and I want to start making some stuff with the polymer clay. So this section's kind of feathers and embellishments, wet felt, needle felt, blah, blah, blah. Then this is not cleaned yet, this area. But all of these have things in them. Like there's fuzzy, fuzzy yarns. Special yarns. Most of that's like milk cotton and whatnot. And this is all hand dyed and wool hanks. So that has some stuff in there too. And then I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this wall. That wall really needs something. But, and then if you ever need, I call it fluff. It's called polyfill. I've got some in that big, huge box. I know Froggy has a box like that in her, her uh, room that she does her videos. But anyway, yeah, so that's that's pretty much my yarn room. Sorry about the finger. <laughs> I was giving you the finger, but you didn't see. No, you did see the finger, but it wasn't that intention. Anyway, love you guys. Have a great day. I'm doing really super well today, so I'm going to walk over to Rusty's and hang out with her in a little bit. Oh, and just, <laughs> and we'll close on this random roll of toilet paper that's sitting on the shelf for no reason. Bye. Love you guys.